live uh, from the Ambedkar University to get us the latest. Uh, Piyush, how exactly is the situation looking like? A similar situation like we saw at the JNU campus. Electricity has been snapped out is what we're given to understand. Uh, students are still keen on staging that, on screening that documentary uh, plot is also taking place simultaneously. Uh, what is the sense that you are picking from the ground? So yes, uh, Samiksha, let me just tell you now uh, that uh, the protest over here has uh, ended. Over here at the Ambedkar University has ended. And now all eyes would be there on uh, Delhi University where again uh, student unions from uh, NSUI, that is the National Students Union of India and uh, left-wing uh, student associations are going to be again uh, doing the same kind of uh, drama in which they are going to be first trying to screen the documentary and then also trying to protest over them being stopped of doing so. So uh, right now I'm reporting from the Ambedkar University where uh, for over three hours you saw a high voltage drama where students wanted to screen the documentary, this controversial documentary on uh, Narendra Modi, but they were stopped of doing so by the administration. In fact, there were also some Delhi police officials, some very high ranking Delhi police officials that had come over here to make sure that the situation was peaceful and tranquil and they were successful in doing so. But as I said, that the controversy does not seem to end after seeing uh, the such kind of protests uh, and uh, screening in Kerala, Hyderabad and even in Delhi in terms of uh, Jamia University and JNU, you are now seeing the action being shifted to uh, Delhi University. And uh, now after the scene what you saw over here at Ambedkar University, all eyes now would be on Delhi University that would the similar pattern be followed by the student groups of trying to uh, disrupt the peaceful atmosphere by screening this uh, documentary, all eyes would now be there at Delhi University mm. in the evening. Back to you mm. in the studio. Uh, and Piyush, you know, it's like a Shaheen Bagh model rerun, what we, what we are seeing in the national capital. Uh, any word that you're picking from the administration of Ambedkar University, have they made it absolutely clear that permission has been denied to screen the documentary? And and who exactly is behind this provocation, which, which we've been seeing all these days uh, at these campuses, the JNU and of course now uh, at the Ambedkar University? Samisha, you aptly mentioned about the Shaheen Bag model. And what exactly does the Shaheen Bag model really uh, elucidate? It shows that there are certain groups of uh, very aggrieved students. They try to protest, they try to disrupt the kind of pe peaceful atmosphere which is prevalent in institution, educational institutions. And what they do is that they try to uh, kind of provoke the administration by doing something which is definitely not allowed as per the rules and laws. And that is what we are being seeing over here. Many student organizations and groups, they know the controversies that are related of screening this documentary. However, they are still going ahead and in order to make a political statement, screening the such kind of documentaries. And thereby, when they are being stopped of doing so, then they try to uh, protest by doing a sit-in and also alleging that they are being manhandled. So what you are seeing definitely is a kind of a Shaheen Bagh model where the student groups are coming in confrontation with the public authorities and the administration and in uh, order thereby trying to disrupt the peaceful atmosphere. So far, the authorities mm. in uh, all the universities that include even the JNU, uh, they have been successful in trying to prevent any kind of violence. But yes, uh, looking at the kind of uh, the excited atmosphere, looking at the kind of the uh, atmosphere which many of these student groups have, it is actually a challenge for the authorities to prevent any kind of untoward incident during this kind of incident. Back hmm. to the studio. Yes, so Piyush, just stay with us. In fact, just a short while back, you also got visuals of the screening which happened at the Madras University. Uh, we have uh, Ashwin also joining us live uh, from Tiruvananthpuram. Ashwin, it's been a similar pattern in Kerala as well. Uh, the screening, of course, has happened at several of those uh, government colleges in Kerala. But what is the state government speaking as of now on this matter? Have they taken any action on the SFI uh, workers who've been organizing this documentary despite it being banned in the country? Well, what the uh, opposition is claiming is that uh, and the uh, uh, CPM going off both the
more. So that's the kind of uh, uh, falling that is happening. In fact, uh, the whole uh, uh, program of screening starts in the all right, uh, there seems to be a network problem. We'll try and connect with Ashwin again. Uh, but Ashwin getting us the latest from Kerala as well because uh, we've been seeing how the documentary has been screened in several of those uh, government colleges, be it in Kochi and even uh, in Tiruvananthapuram by the SFI students. Uh, now, the state government, uh, the state police has not initiated any action so far against those who've been organizing this documentary but has been, uh, has in fact lodged a complaint against the ABVP workers who staged a protest demanding action against the left students for uh, screening the documentary despite it being banned in the country. For now, uh, to a quick one-minute report. 